Hey guys, welcome to Repix Media. My name is Rohit Kumar and in this Blender tutorial, we are going to make brushed metal like this. If this looks cool to you, please hit that like button and also consider subscribing as this channel is all about creating beautiful art. So let's begin. Open Blender and delete the cube. Now add a cylinder and scale it up by pressing S2. Now I'll decrease its size on Z axis by pressing SZ0.04. As you can see, these edges looks very blocky. So let's smooth it up a little. I'll first apply an edge split modifier. Then I'll apply a subdivision surface modifier to it and increase the subdivisions to 2. Then right click shade smooth. Now our cylinder is perfectly smooth and is ready for shading. Now the fun part. Let's go to shading tab and remove all these unnecessary windows. Choose a HDRI for lighting. I'll choose this nighttime HDRI as it has a good contrast of lights and shadows. Now let's create a new material for our object by pressing on this new button. I'll name it brushed metal material. Now as we are making a metal, increase the metallic property to 1 and reduce the roughness to your liking. Now the thing that gives life to this material is this normal here. So let's connect some nodes here. I'll first add a noise texture by pressing shift A and search for noise texture and then I'll add a bump node. Now connect these and this factor to this height. Now we have some normal displacement on our object. Add a mapping node and connect these here so we can control the scaling of our noise texture more precisely. And at last we add a texture coordinate node and connect the generated to vector. The normal displacement is little bit extra so I'll reduce it and also the distance. Now increase the x scale to something like um, 200 and I want even less displacement than this. So I'll reduce this. Please feel free to experiment with these sliders as these are subjective to the material you are making and it also depends upon the lighting. Now this is starting to look like brushed metal but if you want to exaggerate this effect even more you can do this simple trick. I'll set color 1 to full white and color 2 to full black. So our brushed metal is ready. The beauty of this method is that it is completely procedural and you can directly plug this material to any object and instantly give it a brushed metal feel. Just look at those brushed metal lines. Awesome. So guys that's it for this video but before you go please hit that like and if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out a future one. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.